Okay, so this is the second drawing of Mermaid, second week, second drawing, and this one is more of a drawing of the larger mermaid talking to the smaller ones and kind of warning them. And so now we're kind of seeing their reaction to being warned. Here's a thumbnail and she's kind of pointing and heed, like, heed my warning. I wanted the, the uh, mermaid on her on her left to look kind of intrigued and then the one over, over, um, over her shoulder to look scared. Um, and so this is the sketch. This is when I started doing sketches first. So I do all my sketches first because I'm already in the, the head space of sketching, of drawing and look, figuring out line work and where I want it to be. So I just did them all at the same time. And then I went back for shading and value. So sketch. The note that I put is I was struggled with the hand placement. That's true. I don't know. I still don't know if I did right by if, it, if her silhouette's kind of messed. This is not a good silhouette if I say so myself. This is not a good silhouette because um, you don't, if this is all blacked out, you wouldn't be able to see, you wouldn't be able to tell. It would be kind of mushy. So this, this shot, I like it or this this uh, illustration I like it but the issue is the silhouette isn't that great and I don't know if I like where the hand placement is to that I don't know if I like it so yep <laughs> and hair there's a lot of hair there's a lot of hair in this one so a lot of hair means that I'm looking at Lois's stuff um, this is when I actually ended up downloading Loish's brushes. Um, you can Google Loish free brushes and they are an amazing pack of brushes. I know brushes do not make a drawing. I, I, the first drawing didn't even have, I didn't even use any of her brushes, but because I had a lot of hair, one of the things about Loish's brushes that's really good is that there's one, I think it's called like hard round. And it's literally just a round brush that I think the like the opacity might be knocked down and it's so good for just locking in huge shapes smooth shapes if that makes sense you know some people are really good at using the lasso tool to block out just big shadows and big you know tones and highlights and that's really not my experience but with her brush I find it a little bit easier because it's you know it, it, it's good about being able to block in soft, big shapes. And so you'll see that as we go, the hair has these big swooshes, you know? The challenge is overworking the drawing. This is something that I definitely struggled with. Um, because I had spent so much time on the first one, I was gaining a little bit of speed on how I set up my illustration, but because I had gained speed, it felt weird. Like, wait, I did that too fast. I must've did something wrong or I did that, uh, like, let me keep working on it. I can make this better. What is it missing? Let me keep working on it. And just sometimes, you know, cause I'm wanting to get these done. I'm planning, it's supposed to go fast, you know? And it's not exactly what, all these drawings I think have their challenges, but each one I'm learning more as I go. And because this was a project that I, uh, kind of a last minute project, I I need to, I guess, give myself a little bit of grace of like, okay, it didn't turn, it, uh, turn out exactly how I wanted, but it turned out good, you know? Um, what I learned, go with the flow. Go with the flow. I'm not a flowy person. I'm a crunchy person filled with anxiety, but I will learn how to go with the flow. So as I learn how to go with the flow, that's gonna end Mermaid drawing number two. Mermaid drawing number three is on its way. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.